Time for our Friday Fit Tip, and Kelly Green is here. She's a certified uh, fitness instructor, and she's gonna lead us through the downward dog. Yeah, it's a great active stretch, especially after anything that you've done pretty intense workout-wise. You wanna take your hands underneath your shoulders, you're on your knees, but then we lift up onto the balls of your feet, and then we have those feet about hip-width apart, sinking back towards your heels, dropping them down. Your head is loose like a ragdoll, pressing your chest towards your thighs, and your your head stays loose and just take every exhale breathing into those heels a little bit deeper and then come on out of it back to your knees. We're at DYC Fitness, thanks Kelly, with Jeremy Stevens, who's a personal trainer. What do you like about the downward dog? Yeah, especially for you know people who are really focused on that lower body strength, uh, really get that hamstring stretched as well. I think it can be a great supplemental exercise for anything lower body. Yeah, and it's harder than it looks. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the downward dog. There is room for this move outside of yoga class. I'm Anne-Marie Tiernan, and that is your Friday Fit Tip.